bad one. Sean Bradley explained that that blood was drawn from the jugular vein. trying to be good and just talk see how close we can get but I'm shaking I'm shaking inside I'm shaking <laughs> don't let him see you cry a horse color. We truly stand at a crossroads in the history of our wild herds. The road we have been traveling has led to the current crisis. Continuing to travel down the same path may very well lead us to the extinction of the symbol of our American heritage. But there is another road. Current science and independent studies show us that if a dialogue towards problem solving can begin before it's too late, we can build a new road, a road towards preserving these wild scenes for future generations. Many of the horses we have met at the Calico Complex now bear the names we have given them. Lightning, Freedom, and Little Hope, Tomahawk and his son Painted Arrow, Commander, General, and his son True. Some of these horses are no longer with us. Some will go through adoption or face the uncertainty of sale authority. Most will enter into a system of government warehousing far from their home ranges to await whatever fate man determines for them. The power to change the current path lies in dialogue. Dialogue that can spur new legislation. Our lawmakers stand at the crossroads with us seeking answers. Current proposals ignore the underlying protocol and rely instead on crisis intervention. The proposed plan would destroy the herd dynamics and wild horses would no longer exist as wild horses. Please take the time to raise your voice towards the possibility of building a new road a new road that can really benefit the horses. Let us help our lawmakers see this new direction for the future for our wild horses and burrows. Thank you. Such spirit in this, huh? Did you get that?
that rearing up? Yeah. That's fantastic. But it's rare you see them like this. 